Hi folks, this is Mal, and welcome back to Endless Space Disharmony. This is episode 8 in our ongoing Endless Difficulty series, and part of series 2. Alright, well when we left off, we were about to design a large combat vessel to accompany our troop transports to go pound Orange Dude, this guy, Hisso, whatever the hell his name is, <laughs> to go pound this guy's face in. Alright, so, we are going to do just that. I'm trying to figure out which one is best. I mean, this is obviously the biggest, but I don't know that we need to go with that. I'm kind of thinking this one. Yeah. Um, or even this one, right? This looks like a good blend here for offensive capabilities. He gets three. Oh, I see. He gets three special slots. Let's go with this guy. Battle Cruiser. I'm extremely creative with my names, I know. Don't be jealous. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's add the tonnage. Uh, let's add the repair dealy, because I think that's neato. Yeah, I said neato. What of it? Uh, hold on, let me check this here real quick. Uh huh. Minus thirty percent on armor tonnage. Minus thirty percent on. Huh. Okay. So he gets that repair thing cheaper. Okay, that's cool. Let's give him a better engine. That whopping plus two. Actually, you know what? We don't need to do that. I'm gonna research better engines. So for now, we'll just deal with what we've got. Grab a couple things of armor. Definitely grab this for the firepower. Special modules. One, two, three. We're going to make these battle-oriented. Right? That means they're going to fight in space. As I understand it, make these melee weapons. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, out of space. Alright, well, I'll we'll have to scale back here a little bit. Hmm. Really would have thought that would have given us more military power than this. Hmm. Well, we're going to give this a try. Let's take a look here. Let's build a battle cruiser. Actually, let's build several, shall we? Oh, let's actually build this thing first. We might as well. Likewise here, plus 10% or plus 10 ship XP. Yeah, let's let's do that. These are going to be our main production places. Okay. 
How long does it take? Three turns here, huh? Okay. You're gonna help out as well. Take you off of that. I'm gonna put you on research. We'll just let you keep building, I guess. All right, and then. Research, where am I at? Pending on the weapons, huh? That's fine, we'll do a weapon upgrade then, after those ships are built. Cooperation agreement. And they're gonna give me they're gonna give me stuff, huh? Sure, I'll accept. Thanks. Let's go up here and see if we can cause some trouble, shall we? I think I'll start grabbing wit. Yeah. I'm gonna get block raid runner too, just in case. It's a minor, minor investment, right? For what potentially in a pinch can be a big payoff. Thought process there being, you know, let's say you've got them on your most important world where you're producing things, and then you get blockaded, you don't have access to your critical strategic resources, and then you can't build your cool ships or whatever. But if he's there, you can, right? So, I think that's worthwhile. Alright, how long? Oh, well, I guess it starts next turn? Okay. Oh, 30 turns, huh? Wow, really? 30 turns with all that firepower? To immediately invade the star system, this fleet or Oh, okay, well, let's do that. Oh, destroys a lot of crap, huh? All right, well, systems ours, boys. <laughs> it didn't go exactly as I had planned, necessarily, but, uh, you know, hey, it's okay. It'll, it'll be all right. And actually, we need to start off with some smaller production things here. Um, like, things to get food production going, I guess. Well, I guess we could start with... Alien grafting on all of these. Buy 
I am the first one. Okay. Alright, well. Success! Now, what happens with these carriers? Do they, they get their troops back over time, or...? I have no idea. Or are they just expended? Do I have to go back to a different system? Not sure how that works. I guess I'm about to find out. Ceasefire. Oh, oh no. You, you, you silly goose. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now let's take a look here. So the troops, I guess the troops are just used up, huh? Or take a certain amount of turns to regroup. Not sure how that works, but that's okay. doesn't matter. I don't need to know how it works at this particular juncture. I'll figure that out later. What I do know is I took this system from him, which is great. Now we're going to go take the rest. Okay, what do we got here? All right, we need to change. Start rallying things to here. And remember, it's uh, control, left click on what you want, and then click where you want them to go to set your rally points. Okay, now, what the heck is this over here? Battle cruiser, perfect. Okay, still bringing in a little bit of money, not much, but that's okay. We don't need to bring in a lot of money right now. What we need to do is bring in... Um, is keep our production up while amping up research as much as possible. And how are we doing on uh, catching up score-wise here? I think after we take Orange Guy out, we should be on par with that number three guy that we don't have any contact with. Then we're going to have to figure out... We have a cooperation agreement, so we can just go right through their systems and go around and start a war with someone else. Which is probably what we'll do. Okay. So laser weapons are done. Two slots for impervious fighters, huh? That sounds pretty cool, though. Advanced mechs? Oh. That sounds cool. But, before we do any of that business, I need some stuff back down here, because I'm missing some really good stuff, like Planetary Institute. I need Gravitonics Drive. Um, where's warp drive at? Oh, soil revivation. Yeah, let's snag that. Second gen warp drive? Yeah. Yeah. Let's grab that. Get some of those improvements going.
12 out of 16. Okay, well then merge. There we go. And likewise, merge. I'm gonna send these two guys, these guys back. They're all jacked up anyway. Forty-eight turns, huh? There we go. Now it's now we're going direct. Okay, good. these guys sit here actually no 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 battle cruiser we want to send forward what am I saying forty forty turns okay well that's changing radically is that because they're killing their troops or what have you Friend or enemy would be good to check if your neighbor's or enemy's alliance, okay. Let's see, so... Another little weak guy got killed off, huh? Alright. Hexferium for Titanium. Uh, I don't think that's a deal we want to make, is it? Oh, wait, seven hex room? So what's he want? He wants to give me titanium for hex room? I mean, it's not an equal trade per se, but I'll make the trade. Yeah. Oh, deal broken. Why, why'd you break the deal? Hmm. Very close, huh? About a cooperation agreement. Why? Why are we not? Uh... Hmm. Okay, that's a little suspect. Am I gonna end up dealing with these guys right now? I hope not. Kind of busy. I know this is not an optimal way to do this, but shush it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go system. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab this and then go back to. I actually think I'm going to put this system on. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put this one on on dust protection. Planetary Institute, man, it's an awesome upgrade. So awesome. Okay. fact I'll grab it here as well and grab it here and grab this okay
There will be no ceasefire, you asswipe. You had your chance. I was a nice guy. I was. I I was a nice guy. You you decided to be the a-hole that started stuff. Not me. Oh no no, it wasn't me. It was you, pal. Now you want to be like, no, no. Well, too bad. So sad. You know that old joke? The son writes a letter to the father. Hey, Dad, I'm so sad. I need mun for some fun. Dad writes back. No can do. So sad. Too bad. You're dead. P.S. Get a job. <laughs> or something to that effect. Let's see. Uh, what am I going to do here? This system. I think this will be, this will be another, yeah, it'll be another dust system for now, I think. Yep. Okay, what do we need here? Don't need to build any system improvements here, I don't think so. I'm gonna build a couple more of these, I guess. Update these. So everyone's moving to the forward position. All right. And research. Still have stuff queued up. We do indeed. Okay. Go to the next turn here. Now, what do we have here? All right, let's group these up here. These are battle cruisers, right? that up okay merge that up with this no 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 We'll grab one of these. Let's assign him there.
see, 505. They all have the same, I don't, hmm. I'm a little confused by these stats. Okay, so... What, I just happened to put the exact same thing on there? I mean, I guess. And then this one's got a fighter. And that factors in, or doesn't factor in. I gotta figure that out. Obviously, the battle cruisers have more hit points, and they carry a fighter. Hmm. For now, just merge like that. Actually, I'm going to scrap this ship. Signed to the fleet. Alright, let's try to build a more offensive oriented ship. Okay, let's try this one. Shield, support modules. Let's grab this. Okay, so it's, it's, it can't just be armor, though. That can't be making all of the difference. It makes up some. Like, am I better off getting plasma fields? You know, I don't know. We're just going to call this one Attack Boat. I know. Again, super creative, right? <laughs> okay. So this one, 600, 272. So this one, I guess I just put too much. Yeah, I put... 
Let's modify this one. Okay, and then I need... Hmm. Let's see. to the different beam weapon for starters okay so that that's pretty good right pretty big increase in hit points more damage okay let's let's do that pull this group here back for a turn and upgrade them yeah and we're gonna start cranking these suckers out attack boats Cause I got a feeling I'm gonna end up going to war with the uh, with Harmony over there. Okay, so troop cares. Carriers and destroyer. Where the hell is my other fleet? There it is, okay. Modify the cruiser. This will be cruiser three. Let's add some tonnage. engine upgrade and we will upgrade weapons there we go and the destroyer modify that change the weapons He can carry a bomber, huh? That's kind of funny. But not... But not fighters. 
That's interesting. Okay. I'm actually gonna grab a fighter for him. Just because I think it's funny. Nine hundred to retrofit, huh? Okay. Then we will switch over to dust production for just a few turns until we can make all of these upgrades. And we'll switch back. But we'll have to do that in the next part because this video is already getting too long. So I'm going to cut it off there. But if you like the video, folks, if you like the direction of the campaign, let me know. Just give me a thumbs up. Or I always welcome your comment and your feedback. Look forward to that. So until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.